Hi everyone, and welcome back for part three of this year's Pastors Report. Now in the previous couple videos, we looked at our response to COVID, and then we looked at how we'll be using our building this year. Now I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the congregation, about the losses, the gains, and some of the staff's changes you'll be noticing this year. Now many of you will remember that a couple of years ago, we began a relationship with a consulting firm called The Unstuck Group. And one of their recommendations was that we streamline our ministry teams. And so after we had emerged from the isolating three months of the pandemic, we decided to change that ministry's team structure to make it easier for us to manage. And now we only have five teams which manage larger areas of responsibility. And those would be admin and connections, discipleship, facilities and property, hospitality, and weekend services. Those teams got together a couple of months ago and have been meeting sporadically to figure out how to do ministry in this COVID era. And let me tell you, it is really tough. But I am, I am hopeful that we can continue to work together to figure out how to do ministry in this really strange time and how we can do it safely in person and how we can stay better connected virtually. This streamlining of our ministry teams also gave us the opportunity to take a look at our staff structure and see what our congregation really needs at this time. And so if you look at our annual budget, you'll see that we don't have any money budgeted for a custodian. And that's because Kendra, our custodian, left right around June, and we have been relying on volunteers ever since, specifically a pair of volunteers who have been committed to three hours of keeping the surfaces clean and vacuuming the floors and emptying trash cans. Jeff and Alex Layton have both been doing that uh, every week and we are really grateful for their service during that time. So we're hoping that many of you will be able to donate your time to the church as well, helping keep our place clean during, these, uh, during the time that we don't have a custodian. We also um, are going to be saying goodbye to Ruth McCormack. Ruth will be resigning and um, we are sad to see her go because Ruth has been an absolute tiger in the office and has been keeping us connected, has been the glue for our office for several years now. But this also gives us an opportunity to see what we really need as a congregation. When we, when we sat back, we looked at and we saw that we really need someone to provide some direction for our digital communications. And so we are gonna be hiring a director of connections beginning January the 1st. That person will be responsible for social media, for e-newsletter, for texting, basically helping our congregation stay connected and then also connecting our congregation to the surrounding community. This we feel is an important, vital part of our staff that can help us as a congregation grow during a time that is relying more and more on online communications. Now, lastly, I wanna talk a little bit about some of our losses. Recently, we lost two important church members, Wally Qualls Jr. III and Glenn Lent. We were really sad to see them go. But at the same time, we are grateful for the opportunity to have known them. And we are also grateful because we know that our church is continuing to grow and that people are still interested in our church and people are still checking us out online. People are still believing that Chilson Hills Church has something to say for their lives and is com communicating the good news of Jesus to the world around us. It says in the Bible, in the book of Psalms, it says, those who sow with tears uh, with tears will reap with songs of joy. In other words, those who endure those hard times will one day experience the goodness and the joys of life. I think we've endured a great deal and we've shed some tears in this past year, but God is using our efforts to extend the ministry of this church. And so for that reason, I think we have a lot to look forward to.